I don't know about you, but I much prefer the fall season to spring. The beautiful colors, perfect weather, no allergies, and best of all, we gain an hour rather than losing one. That's why I decided to make this daylight savings hourglass model out of Lego. So I was planning on making this mock like months ago, but then this huge Team Seas thing or something started about a week ago, and this was just perfect for it. If I figure out how, I'll set up the Team Seas fundraiser thing on this video, but if you can't donate, or if I don't figure out how to set it up, there's still a big way you can help. The prevention is almost always better than the cure, and you know what can prevent all this garbage? The three R's, people. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. We're going back to elementary school here. If you have access to clean water, reduce your plastic bottle waste by just using a reusable water bottle is the best option. Or taking two extra seconds to find a recycling bin rather than a trash can can go a long way as well. And then there's my favorite, reusing your trash in unique and creative ways. That is what we're going to do today. I went recycling bin diving to get two used plastic bottles, then pop them in the sink to eliminate any potential cooties. Hot water also helps you peel the label off without leaving too much nasty adhesive junk behind. With the bottles all clean and dried, I cut off the bases because our Lego platforms are actually going to make up the top and bottom of the hourglass. I considered building the sides out of transparent pieces as well, but that wouldn't have given the shape or functionality I was looking for, so bottles it is. Unfortunately, these bottles are a tad too small to fit these bases though, so we'll need some additional support. For that, I traced some cardboard circles and struggled hard to carve them out with a super dull box cutter. Eventually, I got the first one out, and it was too small, so that was annoying. After both correctly sized circles were cut out, they needed some edging. Now, if the diameter is two and this is a pie, what the heck is the circumference I need? I'm just gonna cut the whole length and see if... <laughs> That's perfect, what? How long is that? Eight and a half inches. I taped the oddly perfect edging to the cardboard boxes, and now my Lego base fits snugly inside, with the bottle fitting snugly over that. It's like as snug as a bug in a rug, but that rug is wrapped up in another rug. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, now we need to build another Lego base. I had to steal a part from the Act 2 hut to do that. And even then, I was missing the other two corners. My solution wasn't pretty, but then again, neither is losing an hour of sleep, so it kind of fits. Now that we have all the infrastructure in place, let's take a look at my concept art to see my plan for the actual details. We have everything wonderful about fall, leaves, sleeping in, a bountiful harvest, and everything just awful about spring. Bees, alarm clocks, knives, your, your basic things. I covered my fall base plate in a patchwork blanket of beautiful autumn leaves and made a plush bed with room for our sleeping minifig to slip under the covers. The bed was a bit too long to fit the bottle, however, so the solution? Amputation. With just the torso tucked in, the bed was finally short enough to fit. I hadn't realized how little space I actually have in there, so unfortunately the harvest spread I made will have to go as well. I did want some suggestion of a tree though, so the best I could do was taping this branch to the side of the bottle. It provides a nice bit of shade to this dude while he slumbers peacefully. Perfect. The guy on the spring side, on the other hand, is having a much worse day. Bad head, rumpled clothes, just completely forgot to put pants on. This man is clearly in a rush. I mean, I guess it's not that bad if you don't remind him about it. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, two o'clock? Is that necessary? I mean, flowers are kind of pretty, I guess. No, they're not. <laughs> this could not get much work. Oh, yeah, I can. With nine. Nice. This is already pretty bad, but I think we can add some final touches to really rain on his parade, such as this rain cloud and a bee. <coughs> now, this is pretty much my worst nightmare. Excellent. Taping the bases in place to the bottles was kind of a pain, but I channeled my inner two-year-old self watching Blue's Clues. Yep. Plenty of practice making tornado tubes. So the middle was much easier. Now it's pretty much done and it's looking great. So I'm gonna take the thumbnail pictures now, just in case what I wanna try next ruins everything. All right, take it away live, bad mic version of me. So I'm not sure if I really like the idea of sand in this hourglass. I mean, first of all, it's super coarse. And it's gonna be pretty rough to get it in there, but I'll try it, I guess. Well, that was a little irritating. But look at that, it just gets everywhere. Let's give it a test. Three, two, one. You know what? I'm okay with that. It doesn't keep time, like, at all. It <laughs> 
It's like a two second timer, but those two seconds are incredibly satisfying. Let's watch that in slow-mo. Overall, I am super happy with how this quick little project turned out. It's a lot more fun to change the seasons with it than something like our LEGO calendar. Anyways, time is apparently running out to donate to Team Seas. They're trying to raise $30 million in two months. It's crazy. Again, don't feel bad if you can't donate. You can still do your part by recycling, reducing, and reusing. Comment below with your favorite creative way to reuse plastic bottles, and I hope you enjoyed your hour sleeping in. Thanks for watching.